Hey guys, hope you are having a great time and I hope that you are enjoying my videos. So without wasting any other time, let's get into Android Studio with Chainable Work Requests. Here I have created a blank application with an empty activity and what I have done is that I have added the dependency for work manager in the build.gradle file. Now let's get back to our main activity and here we will create three worker classes that is our work request let's name them work a and so on work b work c and we'll extend it from the worker class and let's just implement its default method that is the do work method and here in this first class that is the first task we'll just lock something and we'll return result.success and this tag is giving an error because we have not defined it yet now it's defined now similarly let's create another java class that is the work b that is task b extend it from the worker class implement the method let's log T, that is make a string tag now in this do work method what we will do is we will make the thread to sleep for say 5 seconds now thread dot sleep 5 milliseconds 5000 milliseconds and it should be in the try catch block like this and now inside the try block let again log e that is uh, work uh, finished now this work uh, could could be anything like uh, getting something from the network so i've just made that thread to sleep so it would mimic that we are downloading something from the internet and before the try block let's log e that our work was started and let's say work started rather work b started and from the try block what we will return we will return that result dot success that our task was successful otherwise from the catch block we will return result dot failure it means that our task was not completed and just remove this line from here and now again create another class that is the work C again extending it from worker class implementing its method and again like the first class we'll just lock something work C finished and return result dot success so that's all about uh, our classes. We have created three classes work A, B, C. Now going back to our main activity. Now let's create request for all the three tasks that we have created. That is the work A, B and C. We will be creating one time work request. One time work request A equal to new one time work request dot builder. And herein we will provide the class name of our work A dot class and we'll simply build it we are not going to put any constraints if you want you can do it now we have created three requests of four tasks a b and c now let's get an instance of work manager now here comes the tricky part we will not enqueue the work request rather we'll begin with begin with any of the work requests we have created let's begin it with one time work request a and then then we'll enqueue or what you can do is if you have say here we have only three requests so we can use a simple then b and then c otherwise what you can do is you can make a list of work requests and then add them so let's do it in a simple way then do work request b and then see 
and then enqueue it to the work manager and this is how you enqueue the three work requests that we have created let's run our application and open our logcat what you can see here let's uh, see only the error messages because we have logged error messages so here you see work eight work was finished and in work now let's open work a here it was simple work finished do work and in now when the first work was finished then it comes to work b here in work b work b started and after the thread was sleeping for five seconds it logged in work finished like here work b work finished and you can see the time difference and then it proceeds on to work c and so you can see that we have changed our work request now suppose you have something like this that you want to complete two tasks at that same time and then proceed on to the second task that is you want to run two tasks in parallel so what you will do instead of doing this let's let me comment out this and then again we will get an instance of work manager and then begin with we will provide in two work requests at the same time work request a and one time work request b and then then we'll move on to the third work request that is the one time work request c and then enqueue it so what it will do is that it will parallelly process the request of a and b together it will not wait for a to be finished and then start b rather it will simultaneously start a and b together now let's run our application and see what happens Now we can see here that work A was started or rather it was finished instantly and at the same time work B was also started and after 5 seconds work B was finished and then after work B was finished then work C was started. And one thing I would like to remind you guys here is that the order is not necessary. You can put B here and A here. It doesn't matter. It will both run in parallel. So that's all about work request. If you like the video, do like it. If you dislike it, do comment below. And if you haven't subscribed till now, do subscribe it. And uh, that's all about chainable work requests. So thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Have fun.